Good morning, everybody. It's George here at Bill Harris Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Wanted to talk to you guys today a little bit about uh, the future of Stellantis and the future of our uh, beloved Hemi V8 engine that everybody has grown accustomed to. It's It's been around for just, you know, multiple decades and everybody's kind of scratching their head right now like, so what's going to replace the V8 uh, for Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram? And uh, I've got some great news today of what is actually coming and uh, it's actually got quite a bit more performance than what everybody's going to expect. So the new engine coming out to replace the Hemi is uh, dubbed the Hurricane and the Hurricane comes in multiple versions. Uh, the code name or the internal name for it is GME T6, which is Global Medium Sized Engine. So this is gonna be that mid-sized engine for the Stellantis brand. Currently, it comes in a 420 horsepower standard output version. Also comes in a high output version, which in the Ram trucks is gonna be up to 550 horsepower and uh, from the sounds of it, available on much more than just the TRX. So the, the engine that's coming out, the Hurricane, it's a three liter inline six engine, uh, much different from Jeep's old 4.0 inline six, again, that everybody loved and it was around for over 50 years. The three liter inline six is actually gonna even be replacing motors as large as the 6.4 liter SRT V8 with 485 horsepower. So a few ways Stellantis is gonna get the three liter Hurricane to have the power of the 6.4 V8 but be just as reliable with that small package is gonna be the PTWA coated walls which will allow this all aluminum engine to not have sleeve cylinders anymore. A couple other things that we've noticed is it's actually got a very similar crank mounting to the beloved LS GM engine which everybody loves to take and modify and turn the power up to the moon. Internally, the Hurricane's gonna have forged steel cranks and connecting rods for the pistons. This is something you normally don't see in our old V8s because they never quite had the stress that this three liter's gonna have with this amount of power per cylinder. 